Hey guys, we played really well on Sunday in which we were missing both Nico and Nolan, but we were tied 1-1 going into the third until they scored a couple quick ones halfway through. But what I saw from us was competitive drive. We played with more heart and more energy, and that'll take you very far. I hope you noticed that. Uh, we're still very sloppy on these two things, the D-zone coverage and the breakouts. So imagine we clean these up, we can really compete with that team. But it's going to take all of you. Now, in this video, I'll cover, well, this get the puck outside the blue line. That's not really a topic. I'll just point that out here and there, so just keep that in the back of your mind. But I'm going to cover these four topics. Uh, this one could be a very long one. I'll try to break it up if possible and shorten it. But um, these are all important. So let's go ahead and start with the angling as usual. And I'll talk about the layers of defense as well. So let's start up with this clip right here. Uh, so I showed you, hopefully all of you have seen this by now. But just a couple, thing I want, a couple things I want to point out. And this is talking about um, if this is your goalie, it's better to be more in the middle of the ice. So you see the X there. And now uh, that's not a good spot. You want to be there. And it's going to show a little check mark. Okay, cover more of the inside, you know, the middle area of the ice. So you're forcing them to go to the board. Now this part's important too, this gap that he talks about, um, this one half sink length. What happens is if you start turning too late, like if you start going like this, then that player's just going to burn you, as some of you might have noticed in that practice. Um, if you turn a little bit too early, that's not as, a, that's not as bad of a mistake, but they're going to cut inside of you if you let them do that. So you're going to have to recover and catch them. All right, so just something to keep in mind. Let's start this first clip right here. So you're going to see number one, Maddie, take the puck. And you can already tell John, his feet are just pointing towards her. And I can already tell, like, right here, his cook. He's going to have to kind of pray and get it. And then she easily gets around him. And you see Carter, he's already turning too early. His stick is on this side. All right, your stick's on this side. Remember, you're enticing him to go the other way. And she said, thank you. Watch this. Oh, thank you. I'll take that inside. Good. But these two guys angled well. And one thing I want to point out, I was yelling from the bench too. I probably talked more than I should have this game. Okay, so apologies for that. But watch Xander real quick. Okay, I was saying back, back, back. He, you got to start seeing that she's gonna, uh, she's gonna dangle around these guys and try to. This is where that layers of defense comes in. She gets through one. Guess what? She has to go through the second one and a third one. Okay, so this is great on Xander's part. Back checking hard. Okay, I should call it back checking really. I wish you slowed up just a little bit, Xander. Like right here, you should start already going towards her so you can lock her stick up. Okay, but good job back checking right there. This was really well done by Jay. Do not be afraid of the body contact. All right, you see him get stick on stick, move his body out of the way, go get the puck. Okay, well done. Is that a penalty? Uh, not, not really. You shove the guy really hard, yeah, they'll call a penalty, but I thought that was pretty clean for the most part. So great job on Jay. All right, first of all, Carter, you got to be watching the play more, okay? I, maybe someone's calling you. You just do a qu split second check, but you got to watch the play. I'm going to show a clip later where you're, you missed the puck completely. All right, so you get a late step on him, and you see Manny trying to get him too. If you feel he has a step on you, start going back toward your goalie. Don't keep pushing towards him because he's just going to burn you. Now, again, Xander, because I was yelling from the bench, he was back checking hard, and that made all the difference. As you'll see, he didn't have a crystal clear breakaway. He had a partial breakaway, but he had to just shoot it, and he couldn't dangle. So that made a huge difference. Uh, one thing too, guys, don't do these drive-bys. you got to hit the brakes in front of the net, because now 99 is left by himself. One of you has to cover 99. Uh, so that was an example of the later defense, not so much the angling. All right, one simple thing is uh, when they go behind the net, you let them come out of that net first. So what I mean by that, I mean, there's only two seconds, so it, it, was, it didn't really matter. Or there's no consequence, I should say, but watch Xander, right? He went past the net. And, well, guess what? Then they're gonna try to cut inside of you. And a lot of players will try to do that. We don't want to force them to the middle. We wanna force them to the outside. So to do that, slow down a little, let them pop out of that net first and put your stick on that inside lane. Start guiding him to that board. Don't don't entice him to go inside. Um, Rand, yeah, you want to do the same thing. You're, uh, hold on, so I'm go back a little bit. 
You see Rain's kind of trying to attack him head on and we don't want to do that. Right? We, we want to, like for you, I would just stop, wait for him to come out and then start skating with him. Right. So easy way to stop, easy way to stop them from, uh, you know, people like Maddie trying to go end to end all the time. All right here, you can see cars get cooked pretty easily. Okay, so you're flat footed. This scares going head on, and so this is called the uh, the good old fishing. Okay, just go straight at him, miss, game over. Pretty easy. It was not even a challenge for him. But you see Manny, you see Preston. Preston's probably backing off a little bit early here, like he's already turned around. Okay, you want to start looping in, have your feet sideways, and start coming up with him. But uh, great job angling overall. Like watch Manny track him. Okay, and he has no chance getting around both Manny and Preston. All right, so Carter, you want to have your feet sideways right here. If you don't have time to to go in and angle up. Have your feet sideways and wait for them. All right? If you're a good backward skater, that would be time to do it. But you can't have be flat footed. You can't attack straight on, or you're you're done. And not just done, it's easy. Just like what we saw with uh, John in that first clip. And let's see the same thing here from Carter. Don't think about getting the puck really. Just think about trying to skate with them. Okay, it's way too easy. It's not even a challenge right there. I mean, you might as well put. We call them pylons right there. I might as well put a cone out there. Um, and just look at Manny real quick. This is where, yeah, this is the time. You're going to have to just try to match your speed going back. When you guys step up like this, you're, you're kind of done. All right, but good recovery on Manny's part. All right, here you'll see Manny behind the net. She's circling the net. So again, don't poke her out this way. You stay in the middle, let her come out first, guide her to the board. Um, here you'll see John attack head on and he does get the puck right and this is why you don't dangle the last person back he does get the puck but he angled wrong like seven out of ten times she's just gonna walk right around him um, so which way is your feet pointing by the time you get to her right kind of sideways not enough though if you miss you want to be able to still skate with her that's the key if you poke it then you can still skate forward that is the key to angling all right, and one more example of the later defense. You see Robbie, number 11, take the puck. And she, Preston, already going back a little bit. I wish he went back just a little a hair sooner, but that's still good. You already saw, oh, he gets through one guy. Well, guess what? She has to get through a second guy. So great help right there on Preston. All right, laters of defense. It's not just, oh, man, he got him. I'm going to relax. No, we get one, two, three guys helping. All right, next, let's talk about the face-off alignment in the D zone. And this will naturally lead to these both of these things. I don't know why we have so much trouble with this. So we're going to go through each one and explain it. It should be a quick section, but it's going to overlap again with these two. All right, starting off right here. We do have four on a line, but I want Carter on the inside. I want Julia on the outside. All right. Let's go over our responsibilities real quick. So we have one, two, three, four. Right, the way this works, and I briefly covered it in, one, in our meeting, but if we were to split the ice like this, right, something like that, we have like four quadrants. If the other team wins the puck, okay, it's, it's important to understand our responsibilities. This winger will have this area right here. This D will kind of sag back and cover this area. This D goes here. This winger will go probably up here, and the center will help in this middle area. So I know all that looks confusing, so let's just do this. Okay, so D, D, wing, wing, and the center will kind of help out mainly with the D. All right, so we lose the face off. The winger who is here would step right up here somewhere. The winger is on the outside, would go up here. Now, uh, hold on. Off the uh, if we win the face off, okay. So let's say we throw it back. This winger should go start going straight to that board. This winger will just stay put. Okay, we don't want to just go chase the puck, that's the worst thing to do. Um, this D can either stay in front of the net. If you have time to go behind the net, I talked about if your defensive partner is behind this net, you can stay in front. Or off to the side. In this case, you're already in front. Just stay there. That's fine. 
If your D partner needs help, let me erase that. So like he's getting four checked right away, you sag back down here for that D to D pass immediately. Okay, and then we set up that trapezoid. I know we have all these things in the way, but you guys should already know what that looks like. All right, so this is a minute later, you two switch places, which is good. But off the face off, you'll see Carter just backing up, which you don't want to do. Your responsibility is this guy here, so he can't just whack a shot right away. Uh, one thing I've not mentioned to you guys, but I will say it here. Don't win it to your goalie. Win it to the board or straight back if you can. Uh, I don't want that. If you win it clean, sometimes it'll be an sh actual shot on the goalie, which is not good. As you'll see here. Okay, so you have to win on the forehand here if you're a righty on that side. Okay, so he wins it back clean, but to the goalie. And you see Carter already backing off. Let me back that just a tad. Okay, your job is to make sure 17 doesn't get wax at it. So you got to stay there. Yeah, you do not back off. All right. Here, um, there's no way one out of five of you don't know what to do. So you see John telling Jay, hey, move over, move over. All right? He usually knows what to do. So trust John, at least on the face off line. I mean, you're going to see him mess up a little bit right after this. So I'm telling Jay, move over. So now John steps up. Okay. Now off the face off, it's going to that side. There's no reason for any of you on this side to walk all the way over and go to the puck. All right? The D lined up here is responsible for this guy right here or this middle of the net. This winger should start stepping up right here somewhere. Now, it's fortunate Jay didn't step up, even though he's supposed to, because John moves all the way over, and it's right in front of our goalie, but Jay whacks it out. That's why it's important to know your responsibilities. All right, so here, we line up incorrectly, and you'll see the puck wins that way. Jay gravitates that way, does not help. We cannot have that. So as we see here, Manny gets the puck. And he's got nobody to throw it to. Ideally, our wing would sit right here. And once we want it, he goes right to the board. But he has nobody to throw it to. Now, Manny, if you have a little more confidence, or any of you D, I, instead of just throwing the puck away, that is a safe play. But if you feel confident or sticking, I would just get the puck and just go back to the quiet zone. Make a setup. All right. So he throws it out, like I said, to nobody. And lastly, here's our uh, defensive zone alignment. Incorrect again, but our positioning was good. We'll get into defense, D zone coverage, but pretty dang good right here. Where, watch, we got Rain going after the puck, and you four, bit of a box. That's ideal. That's what we want it to look like. We're not all just chasing the puck. Okay, so pretty good there. All right, so this video is gonna be kind of long. I'll break it into two parts. Um, we just covered these two, but this face-off is gonna kind of squeak into the, both of these two. All right, so the next part, I'll cover these two important topics. See you in the next video.